Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to day two of classroom setup. If you are new here, thanks for being here. I'm Victoria and I am a seventh year third grade teacher in Maine and I am so excited to have you here. So please follow, like, subscribe, all the things so you can watch all these classroom setup videos and so on. Now, today is day two. I have some stuff to do. And I also have my baby with me, so I have about an hour to get what I want to done. So let me flip you around and kind of show you what I'm thinking we're going to do. All right, so here is what my current desk setup is. So I want to straighten out these desks. If you see your rattling sound, that's this little guy rattling around a toy. Um, so I want to straighten these desks out to make them make it so I have more space on the rug. And then I want to move this desk that's in the back of the room to the front of the room and rearrange some other furniture. So let's go rearrange some stuff. That is done. I've straightened out the desks and I like it a lot more. It does just give us so much more room in the carpet area. And I do really like teaching whole group lessons on the carpet, so that'll stay. I might need to like reorganize desks a little bit, um, but for the most part, it's good. Right now, I only have 14 kids on my class list. And I've also heard that like one of them's moving and one of them is going to a different school. So I might only have 12. I'm sure we'll get more moving in, but that's exciting. So that's why I have so few desks too. But I also moved that small desk like student desk that was in the back to the front because I used that as like a teacher space to place my computer down on, stuff like that during lessons. And yeah, so, and I moved the easel. So I think it looks a lot better. I'll flip you around and just give you a quick overview. Okay, so here's the desks. Um, I have two groups of three and then this big open rug space that I use for whole group lessons and like morning meeting and stuff. And then these two groups of four, um, I think it looks good. It has so much open space. And then that front desk up there is where I like put down my teaching materials and stuff that I need to reference. And then obviously this anchor chart easel I'll use for anchor charts here and there. But I honestly do a lot of my teaching from Google Slides. So this smart board is used frequently, even though I don't actually use the smart features on it. <laughs> um, now, let me just like walk to the front and turn around for a second. So this area up here, like this big open rug space is where I normally do like our, my whole group lessons and our morning meeting. And I said this in my last classroom setup vlog, so if you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch that. But I last year tried those sit spots and I put them on the carpet here and it just didn't work. So I'd love to hear some suggestions on like what I could put down here to help. Do I try it again? and? If I do, what tips do you have for them not picking at the rug the whole time? Okay, let me flip you back around for a second. All right, so I really like the setup. I think it looks good. This is what I honestly have almost always done. I love having my class sit in groups. And then I like having just a big open rug space so they can use it for flexible seating um, during like individual work time, during like math centers and also for whole group lessons. So now my goal is to tackle this scary <laughs> file cabinet. Whew. I'm hoping like the top two drawers are mostly old like files that I really have never used. So I'm gonna look through them really quickly and just get rid of them if I'm not using them because I have kept them for 
seven, six or seven years and I don't remember ever using them. So those two I'm definitely getting rid of. The third one has like months of the year stuff. So I might look through those and keep some things. And then the last drawer is just like colored paper, which I definitely will keep. So I'm gonna clear that out. Let's do this. Whew. Also, can we all just have a moment for this adorable boy who just decided to pick up a book to look at? What a cutie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First drawer is done it had a lot of stuff in it and a lot of it was really good stuff but I have most of it digitally and honestly like I just forget that it's in the file cabinet so it's just not worth keeping I did find a lot of these like folders that had some good activities for grammar so I'm gonna hold on to those and talk to my team and see what they think and maybe I'll keep them maybe I won't to be determined and now I need to go find what to do with this pile of recycling and after that when i come back i am actually going to start a like zoom session with the good inside with dr becky i have a membership to her platform if you are a parent highly recommend it um, she's just amazing and her ideas really apply a lot to teaching. So she's doing a webinar about back to school transitions. Obviously, my baby is not going to school. He's going to daycare, um, but I'm just curious what's recommended so I can have that parent perspective um, for the kids when they return. So let's go find something to do with this big pile of recycling. And then let's get logged on and then let's try and tackle drawer number two. <laughs> of work um, I finished cleaning up the first two drawers and wow there was a lot of stuff in there there I cleaned out basically everything I do have some of those things I know I would use some of those things next year but also I have all of it or not all of it but a lot of it digitally so I'm just gonna clear those drawers because I just never used them and see if I can be more intentional with the way that I use them this year so now I have like a pile of stuff behind me that I need to clean off and I want to clean out the drawers in the teacher desk because I have decided it. I am going to get rid of this desk or I'm going to try to. So I'm going to clean out, clean off the top of it and clean the drawers of the desk and then I'm basically going to be ready to go after that. So let's clean the top and clean the inside of the desk. Here we go. I did it. Whoa, I am exhausted. It took me a little longer than I was hoping to, so I really need to go so I can give my baby some lunch. But let me just give you a quick overview on what I've done, and then let's get out of here. 
So I've accumulated more of a mess on this back table, but that's because I cleared out that front desk. So I have, I found like some class letters, like letters to the fourth grade teachers that I need to give. Um, my Elmo camera, ton of cords that I don't know what to do with. Um, just a few extra things that I will find a home for another day. Then again, quick little overview of the classroom. So you can see the desk set up. Let me know what you think. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, give me other suggestions. And then I cleaned off this desk. There's nothing inside of it. So I'm going to email them and say, hey, can I get rid of this thing, please? <laughs> and I cleaned out these two drawers um, right here, but I did add some of the stuff that I've been thinking of keeping to the front drawer, which I will need to later on organize with some more intention. That is basically what I've done today. It was a lot. <laughs> Let me flip you back around and I'll talk to you a little bit more about it. Okay, so I'm sweaty. I'm tired. It was a lot to look through all those papers. It's one of those like tedious, not so fun jobs. You can't really see this like rewarding outcome, but I know in the long term it'll be really good to have done. So go me. <laughs> um, now I am going to get ready to go home. The only thing that I'm thinking I need to do once I get home is I need to email the custodian about getting rid of that teacher desk. And I need to also email some parents. I saw that I have some parents from last year that emailed me, so I wanna get back to them. And I am also planning on making some labels for my bulletin boards and like new schedule cards and so on, so I can use them um, and put them up when I come back next week. I have a leadership team meeting next Tuesday, so I'm thinking I will do some more setup then but it depends on how much time we um, use during the meeting. If we use the whole time, probably not. Okay, thank you all so, so much for being here and following along with my journey. Thank you for your kindness as I'm learning and follow, like, subscribe, all of the things. I can't wait for you to follow along and see more future videos. Bye everyone.